State beaches are opening soon in Rhode Island and Massachusetts, but like with most activities, there are restrictions. Only a certain amount of people will be allowed, plus there will be no lifeguards or and no concessions. And you'll only have access to a port john not the showers. But as newly released guidelines show, that won't be the case forever. Iowa News reporter Sheena Lusciuto has the new details. Well, the governor recently let us know what our Memorial Day beach plans might look like, but these guidelines paint a picture of how things will be down the road when more restrictions are lifted and more beaches can open. With views like this, you don't really question why Rhode Islanders love the beach and you often expect them to be crowded. But from now on, the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management says you'll have to lay your towel down at least six feet away from other groups because, well, those are the new rules. The DEM hopes to reopen all state beaches sometime in early June, and when they do, here's what to expect. According to newly released guidelines, beach managers will have to set a certain number of people they can let in at once to make sure people can spread out safely. That means there might be less parking spots than usual and even fewer beach passes sold altogether. Social distancing guidelines will still be in effect in the sand. Your beach group can only be as big as the state's current gathering limit. For example, right now in phase one, it's five people. The guidelines say you should have your face covering on when walking to and from your spot because eventually there will be more offered at state beaches. So don't forget your mask when you're going to the bathroom or buying some food. However, you shouldn't be wearing your mask in the water. You know, this is life now. This is our life. I can't change the virus. We can't change the virus. We can learn how to live with it, though. Across the border in Massachusetts, there are similar guidelines as beaches open on Monday. There, the governor says you must be 12 feet away from other groups. However, there can be up to 10 people together at once. And the guidelines also say lifeguards cannot sit by each other. Plus, everyone else will have to stay away from the lifeguard stands as well. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.